In short, thousands of people protesting against the construction of an AFL stadium at Macquarie Point on Hobart's waterfront took to a rally on the parliamentary lawn. Thousands of people protesting the construction of an AFL stadium at Macquarie Point on Hobart's waterfront attended a rally on the parliamentary lawn. All eyes will be on return of parliament 10 days later, after two back rows left Liberal Party over stadium issue. A day after the Tasmanian government was demoted to a minority, Hobart's parliamentary lawn was overrun with protesters rallying against the government's proposal to build a 715 million stadium at Macquarie Point. The stadium, tied to the AFL's long-awaited license to Tasmania, has divided the community since it was proposed last year. The Tasmanian Labor Party and Greens have opposed this from the beginning, claiming that government is wasting money it should have spent on healthcare and housing. But stadium deal was signed when federal government announced late last month that it would cover missing 240 million, despite saying it was for redevelopment of entire Macquarie Point area. Days after this announcement, the AFL awarded Tasmania the 19th license in hopes that a team could land by 2028. But one moment that many saw as a celebration caused political turmoil. On Friday, two conservative state liberal backseats, John Tucker and Lara Alexander, left party, citing a lack of transparency about deal and sending once majority liberal government to minority. Lynn Ferenc came from Bernie to rally. Greens leader Cassie O'Connor said at Stop Stadium rally that AFL deal had brought government to its knees and that Jeremy Rockliffe is now living with consequences of his own actions. The mood deafness of Tasmanians, their cowardly surrender to Gil McLachlan and AFL has brought the majority government to its knees, he told Crowd. We now have a minority government before the ink on the contract they secretly signed has dried. Many believe that Tasmania's current stadiums are adequate for AFL games. He said a moment that should have united Tasmanians instead left a bitter taste on many people's tongues. What price were we asked to pay to realize our long-held dream? A stadium that will cost at least a billion dollars is a debt that will be on us for generations as people die in tents and waiting for an ambulance. Ms O'Connor said that having a balance of power parliament means a whole new world of possibilities. When Parliament returns on May 23rd, Greens will take action to disable the stadium and we will take action to cancel any stadium funding from upcoming state budget," Ms O'Connor said. Push it up your as Senator Jackie Lambie said at rally that the mausoleum next to proposed stadium was a sanctuary. Tasmanian Senator Jackie Lambie told the crowd that this bloody stadium was the only thing people wanted to talk about during last weekend's rural demonstration called Agfest. We love our football, he.